hello so i don't know if i don't I, I don't believe i stand alone and i don't think that just because it's not may means i can't speak about it um and i've been vocal about it in the past about my own like mental health issues and i know everybody kind of has moments like that sometimes um I feel mentally and emotionally evolved enough to recognize within myself that I haven't been feeling myself lately, like that I've been down. It, I mean, and if I have to say, I think I've been teetering back and forth for the last like couple of weeks between like, I'm always grateful. But I can't say there hasn't been l moments where I it, I can acknowledge that I think I'm a little depressed. Um, and uh, that's not just something that happens in May. So I don't think I should have to wait till May to talk about mental health awareness. And I don't want to be one of those people who's always pretending everything's great. Um, <laughs> I'm always grateful. And I always get through it and I don't feel like I'm in like some, like, I wouldn't say scary in a physical sense, like type of way. I mean, I know um, in my experience, like depression can be kind of tricky. Not in the like I want to hurt myself way. It's just uh, when you're in it, it's pretty deep, pretty dark, pretty hollow. And it's pretty sad. But um, I'm very grateful for a lot. And I don't want to constantly like say that to cancel out the depression. It's and it, it kind of like I beat myself up a little bit because of that, too, because I also feel grateful for a lot of things, like a lot of things, which is like frustrating when you're like, why am I sad? Or like, why do I feel like this? And I, I don't want to be somebody who like distracts themselves with like alcohol or like weed or some stupid shit because they can't deal with themselves and the best way to get through it is to acknowledge it to be in it so you can get through it um I am emotionally evolved enough to be able to identify an emotion um and I can even navigate my way to my triggers it doesn't always mean that that makes the problem go away. It just means I understand. And now I just have to get through this. And that's okay. I just felt the need to say it out loud. It's like I want to be motivated. And unless it's literally the job that pays my bills right now, I don't have a lot of energy to be motivated. Hell, I don't know what it is. I mean, it's a million things within myself. I know the fucking economy doesn't help. <laughs> I know inflation doesn't help. I know I do have a story time I want to share with you guys, but I'm just wondering if it's too soon because I still know this person. And, um, I mean, I probably wouldn't say his name, but... um. It was weird. I do want to share it. I will share it. I'm just trying to let a little bit more time go by because I just kind of resolved that. Um, and the person isn't, the person is still in my life. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, I just had to have a conversation to get us back on a simple, you know, understanding. <sighs> I have so many things good going on and yet somehow there's just this thing and I don't I don't I don't want to distract myself by finding that in other people like some people I'm not gonna you know you know I'm not gonna sexually shame anybody but I you just gotta make sure you're you know and it's not even about sex it's like some people distract themselves from these feelings and not having to address it by looking into others and you know let me distract it with sex or like I said before drinks or or drugs and I mean to be honest even just this little bit of acknowledging it out loud 
in a real way um, does make me feel better. Um, I haven't been shy about saying that I am actively in therapy and work is going great. I still see my therapist. I missed my appointment this week. <laughs> I was working. Um, I'm doing my part and the rest is time. And I'm a control freak. So impatience isn't always my best virtue. Um, so I have to give it time. And I think that's a cosmic lesson for me also because I need to learn to have more patience. Um, I put on, um, well, I never go out the house looking crazy anyway, but I put on clothes. <laughs> I'm not in the bed is what I'm saying. Like watching TV. I've been like kind of just watching Halloween films, catching up on that. Um, sending emails from my bed when I don't actually have to be up doing things. Um, I put on makeup. I put on like real makeup. I got like eyeshadow on. Like, who am I? I, I don't know, y'all. I was watching TikToks last night. But, um, and, um, my today situation is not my tomorrow situation. How I feel today is not how I'm going to feel forever. <sighs> that part. Exhale. Cry if you need to anybody feels this way you're definitely not alone i don't know if it's seasonal depression i don't know if it's the fucking air i don't know if it's the aliens i know any, i don't know if it's the government the looming shutdown the goddamn recession the housing market there is just this the the, the cosmic lineup of the stars it it it's not one thing it's a collective it's all of the things they all play a part i don't know I don't know. I went and got like myself a like full body massage. Like I've been doing things to bring myself back and I'm not really all the way there yet. So um I've been, you know, talking to my friends, checking in from time to time. And I probably share more with you guys than I do with no, 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 I don't. Um but it's portioned differently, I think. Um, yeah, so I've got um, plans coming up soon that I'll have to be social for. It's amazing you can pull that shit up. <laughs> um, that's some the illusion of depression sometimes. <laughs> um, who's to say I won't be out of my funk by then anyway? Don't dismiss your feelings. Um, there is great power in having emotional, um, being able to identify your emotions, your triggers to, um, so you can go back and, uh, go to the source of how it got this way. You can figure out what you can do to make it better. Um, and just, I guess the point is, this is what's going on with me. And if anybody else feels this way, I don't, you are not the only one. You're not the only one. You got a friend in me. <laughs> I'm done. Um, I would love to do like a movie recollection. I, I mean, I've had little tiny spurts of motivation of things I wanted to do or put out here. But I just can't bring myself to actually do it. So today was the first day actually found myself with the energy to push the button and start talking. I think it helped that I put on makeup. It'd be little shit. You just never know. That little bit of different effort that I put into myself. This is way too long. Um, that's all I have to say, folks. People think that, uh, just because you can be successful in business, just because you can be attractive, just because you have a social life that you can't be fucking depressed and none of that could be further from the truth. So don't let anybody say that to you and don't even beat yourself up about it when you think about it to yourself because I have all of those things, but I am still able to identify how I feel. So um, I know there's so much going on in the month of October. 
but um, mental health is not just there to be a hashtag or some marketing ploy or to create some faux shit that you want people to connect to on the internet. That shit is real. Um, and it, and it, it is not a secret. It is a conversation and it's a conversation that can happen anytime all year long. So with that, <laughs> have a great day. Happy Thursday and happy weekend coming up. I hope I have the energy to continue checking in with you guys, with myself, with my goddamn therapist. Um, it's self-care. Self-care is not just painting your nails. Self-care is therapy. It is, it might be a bubble bath. It might be reading a book. It could be talking to friends, ugly crying if you need to. A good purge. Anyway, so... Happy Thursday, guys. It's okay to not be okay. And it's okay to feel guilty about not being okay. And that's all I have to say. Bars. <laughs> Bye.